I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about the ratio, root, and comparison tests. In problem number 65, I'd like to determine whether the series sum k going from 1 to infinity of tangent of 1 over k, uh, whether that converges or diverges. All right, this problem can be a little bit tricky because we're tempted to throw out at all of these tools that we've learned that are very, very convenient for us. The root test, the ratio test, the limit comparison test, they're all very helpful and they make life easy for us to determine whether series converge or diverge, but a lot of them are going to give us problems when we get to something like this. So what we want to do here is I want to say, okay, let's just step back for a second and see what do we know about a curve tangent, uh, let's say, of x. So if I have the function f of x equals tangent of x, well, what does it look like? Um, it looks something like this. And it just so happens that the slope of this function, if we wanted to, we could figure it out by taking a derivative and plugging in zero, uh, like f prime of x is equal to what? Secant squared of x, which is one over cosine squared of x. And if I plug in zero for this thing, I get one. So the slope here at zero is one. So this is just the line, of course, f of x equals x. So what do I see here? This thing's always concave up, so it's kind of bending upward uh, once we are right of the origin. And so if I plug in an x value and I look at the uh, f of x equals x and f of x equals tan x, tangent is always slightly bigger than x. So x and tan x, which is bigger, well, tan x is bigger. Okay, I wonder if that is helpful to me in any way in this problem, that tan x is bigger than x. I think it is. <coughs> Let me show you why. So now that we've established in our own minds that tan x is in fact a bigger quantity than x, when I'm close to the origin, just to the right of the origin, then I can say the following also, that tangent of one over k, uh, as a quantity, that's slightly bigger than one over k, for all values of k that are uh, positive integers. We see that this relationship is true. And this is exactly what I need for a comparison test, is that these guys are bigger than these guys for k equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on. Once I know that that is true, then I can say something about, well, what do I know about this guy as a sum? The sum, k going from 1 to infinity, of 1 over k, well, that diverges. Well, if the sum of these guys diverges, these are even bigger. So if I summed up all of these guys, it would definitely diverge because I'm adding up values that are bigger than a bunch of things that I add up and they diverge. So the sum, k going from one to infinity of tangent of one over k diverges. And we say that this diverges by the comparison test. Because in this case, I just directly compared these two sequences and said, this sequence is just plain bigger than this sequence. So what this guy sums up to must be smaller than what this guy sums up to. Well, this guy diverges to infinity. If infinity is smaller than something, well, then that guy must be infinity too, and he diverges, and we are done.